Welcome to the advanced tutorial training, Commander. Advanced training will give you the upper hand on the battlefield. First, we're going to cover how to increase your base's tech level. Higher base tech levels unlock new building slots and the production of more advanced units and unit upgrades. Upgrade your fire base to a combat station now. Upgrading your base has unlocked some unit upgrades. Upgrading units boosts their combat effectiveness. Let's upgrade your marines with a grenade throw special ability. Good. Your upgrade will be ready in a few seconds. Your marines have now been upgraded with a special ability to throw grenades. Use your marines' grenades to quickly clear out those enemies. abilities can vary, but they always improve your unit's effectiveness in battle. Special abilities take a while to recharge before they can be used again, so timing is important. Use them wisely. Now, let's move on to advanced unit selection techniques. Here come some reinforcements now. Now, select all your units from across the battlefield. Selecting all your units can be useful for quickly moving all your units at once. Move all your units to the next waypoint marker. You ready, Jarheads? Good. Your selected units are always shown grouped by the type at the bottom of the screen. Cycle through your selected unit types now. Move out with me! Let's do this, troops! Notice how the selection around each unit changes as you cycle through. Cycling is a good way to quickly select individual types of units from a larger group. Now let's review other ways to quickly select units of the same type. Where do you want us, sir? Well done. Each unit type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how to use those strengths and exploit those weaknesses is the key to victory. You can use shortcut commands to move quickly around the battlefield. Press the base shortcut command to jump to your base. If you have multiple bases, multiple presses will cycle through all your bases. Next, press the unit shortcut command to jump to your units. If you have multiple units across the map, repeatedly pressing the shortcut command will jump between clusters of units. Marine. Now, press the rally point shortcut command to set a rally point. This is where new units move to when they are built from your bases. You have a battlefield alert. Use the battlefield alert shortcut command to jump to the alert and take out the enemy. <laughs> like a moth to a flame. Control groups are another way of managing large numbers of troops, and effective unit control is essential to winning battles. Now let's assign some units to a control group using what you've already learned. Select all local units. Now assign those units to a control group. select those units assigned to that control group. Let's try that now. Now use the control group command to select the units assigned to that control group again. Good. You can have up to 10 control groups assigned to each of the control group commands. Now move all your units to the next waypoint marker. 
is sending in Marines to counter your air units. Your air units won't last long against their Marines, so friendly Scorpion tanks are inbound to help deal with them. Units delivered and deployed. Over. Ready to bring the hurt. I'm under attack from ground troops. Over. One last hostile to bother us. Over. by ground troops, over! That's the last of the enemy units, Commander. Well done. Choosing the right unit to counter enemy units is key to your success on the battlefield. The enemy base has been located. Use the tactics we've covered to destroy all enemy forces.
I'm getting hit from artillery up here. And the Hornet claim another kill. Sir, yes, sir. Oscar Mike. an enemy structure. Congratulations, Commander. You've completed advanced training. Good luck out there. 